Hello everyone. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how you can call JavaScript functions in Aura components. So in previous module, I demonstrated you like how we can uh, uh, implement init handler and how we can link a method that is implemented in JavaScript controller. So the, that init uh, is called automatically whenever your component is loaded. But now we will be implementing uh, JavaScript functions. Those we will be calling uh, on some event, like if you hit a button, so on clicking on particular button, that method will be called and executed. So I'm going to create new lightning component, naming it as LC demo three, clicking on submit. Now here I'm going to create one attribute naming it as message, its type is string. So in previous module, we already saw like how we can create attributes, how we can uh, uh, implement expressions. So here I'm writing hello, and then expression v dot message, right? So line number two is showing like how to create attributes. Line number four is showing like how you can use attributes in an expression. Now, I'm creating a lightning button, labeling it as click me. And on click of this, I need to call a method, right? So here you can see the difference. Uh, we are writing C dot because that method will be defined in the uh, components controller. So labeling it as handle click. So this way, uh, this components view code is complete. Now I'm clicking on this controller. So controller will be opened and here we need to implement the code in JavaScript. So I'm copying this and pasting it here. Sorry. So remember one thing like JavaScript is case sensitive. So uh, uppercase and lowercase, uh, you need to implement in proper way. Now here I'm writing component dot set. So whenever uh, you are uh, defining any uh, lightning component and if you are implementing its controller, so all the component related information will be available in this argument component. And all the events related information will be available in this event. And in later modules, I will tell you like, what is the use of this helper? Now here uh, we have this component dot set. So component dot set basically sets a value to particular attribute. So uh, here I need to use V dot message. So whatever attribute that is available uh, in the components view, like it is available here. So to use it in controller, we always need to write it like this V dot message. And here we can write the message button clicked. So through this controller, the value of this message attribute will be set. And when, when this will happen, when you will be clicking on this button, click me. So I'm saving this code. Now I'm going to open demo application where I will be putting this component. So demo lc demo three clicking on preview so here uh, you will see uh, one button is available right and if i click on this okay it is showing some error let me check it I need to use this exclamation sign here. I am refreshing it again. I clicked on click me. So here you can see button clicked message is available. So what you can do, you can put one horizontal rule here so that it will be available in separate line. Yeah, so if I click here, so you can see button clicked message is available here or simply instead of HR, you can use VR tag as well, right? So it will simply shift it into new line. So I'm using it twice. 
if I go here, click on refresh. So this time you won't see any horizontal rule. You will see this button. And if you click on this button, so button click message will be displayed. And always remember whenever you implement this, so you need to use exclamation sign, right? Now I'm going to create one more button. So changing uh, this attributes name as message one, copying and pasting it and creating one more attribute as message two, right? Now here I am putting horizontal rule and copying and pasting it. So here I'm going to, uh, so I need to copy this as well. So let's say here I'm writing button one and here I'm writing button two and message one, message two. Here I am changing it as click me as well and uh, naming it as under handle click, right? So this way, uh, this is the part of button one. So if we click on button one, so the message will be displayed through this. And here, if we click on this button, click me as well. So this method will be called, called and the value will be displayed in this message too. Now, we need to save it. We need to move to controller. And here, uh, we need to define one more method. So it is handle click. I'm copying this. So if you define one more method, so you need to put comma here, right? And here you can put the method name. So it should be message one, it should be message two. And here I'm writing another button click. So now we have two methods, handle click and another handle click. So uh, like accordingly, whatever uh, on whatever button you are clicking, so accordingly that uh, function will be executed and uh, accordingly value of these attributes like message one and message two will be set. So I saved all the codes. Now moving to this tab and clicking on the refresh button. So here you can see both the buttons are available. If I click on click me, so button clicked is displayed. If I click on click me as well, so it is showing another button click, right? So this way uh, I created two separate buttons and for two buttons, two handlers are available in the uh, components controller. So this way, I hope you understood how we can call JavaScript functions in the lightning component, right? So in previous module, we used uh, init to define initial values. So we can use it here as well. So let's say aura handler name equals to init value equals to this. And action doing it. Name can be anything as per your choice. But we are defining init handler. That's why uh, we need to keep as uh, it as doing it, right? Now I'm moving here and copying this and pasting and renaming it as doing it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm making copies of these, message one, message two. And here I'm writing button initialize, like button one initialized and button two initialized, right? Now, if I click here, do a refresh, so you will see initial messages on load of the component. So here you can see button one initialized is displayed and here button two initialized is displayed. Now, if I hit on this click me, so masses will be replaced because another function is executed that is uh, binded with this button. If I click on this, so the function which is binded with this uh, button that is executed. So this way you can have like a default function which is executed on load of component and you can have uh, uh, functions, those can be called on particular event like uh, clicking off the button, right?
Now I am going to write some more code here. So I am commenting this and creating a variable here, naming it as button and even dot get source. So I told you like uh, if we uh, perform any event, so event related information will be available at this event. So we are uh, fetching event dot get source, then variable masses equals to button dot get, then v dot label. So if you click on the, click on any button, so that buttons information will be available into this event. So we are uh, fetching like which button is clicked through this get source function. The information will be available into this button. And through this button dot get, we are fetching the label and we are assigning it into message, right? Now, after this, what we can do, we can write component dot component dot set then v dot message on comma message. So what will happen if I click on this button, click me. So it will call this function handle click. Handle click function uh, is getting the source of the button stored in this BTN. Through BTN dot get, we are fetching the label of the button which is stored in this message and that MSG variable we are assigning into message one. So instead of this button clicked, the label of the button will be displayed while you will be clicking on the button. So I'm saving this code, moving here, refreshing it. So initially you will see button one is initialized. Now, if I click on this, click me. So you will see click me will be displayed here. And if I click here, so it will show uh, that message, that static message that we provided, right? Now, what we can do, if you want to remove uh, these two statements as well, so you can simply write even dot get source, then dot get v dot label. So instead of creating or writing these two statements, you can combine them all together and you can use them in, uh, in place of MSG. So it will work as is. So if I save it and uh, go to this tab, click on refresh. So if I click, so you will see same outputs are displayed, right? So this way, uh, I hope you understood how we can fetch the label of the button, which is clicked. And uh, if you want to apply this here as well, so you can simply copy it. So I'm commenting this, pasting it here and changing it to message two. Now, if I refresh it, click here. So it is showing click me, it is showing click me as well. So uh, now uh, both the buttons are uh, displaying whatever labels they have. So this way you can, uh, customize the code as well. So you can put the message that you want. If you want to put the, or you want to fetch the label of the button. So that is also possible. Now I'm going to combine these two methods all together. Like uh, if you click on this button, so we will be calling handle click. And if we want to uh, uh, click on this button, so we will be calling this handle click, right? And I'm, removing these and mentioning here button only right so we have uh, like this one expression which will display value of message one and we have two buttons click me and click me as well both will be calling this handle click right so now this method won't be executed anymore it is available but it won't be uh, like called or executed so what I'm going to do uh, here, I'm going to uncomment these statements. And applying if message double equals to 
click me right then component dot set v dot message one now here uh, i am going to put msg then else component dot set v dot message to an msg right so let's see what happens now okay so here message one is available so we can't use message two here i am putting this value in message one itself right so this time we have this button and two uh, like button message and two buttons and i'm going to comment this as well i don't want to show any init message refreshing it again so now if i click on this button so click me will be displayed if i click on this button so click me as well be, will be displayed and here you can see i am calling this method only handle click here here and here as well right so both the buttons are calling same method and uh, whatever the label of button is that is being rendered on the ui right now if you want to put any custom message so that is also possible so let's say button one clicked or here we want to show button two clicked if i refresh so it will show button one click it will show button two click so this way if you want to implement several buttons and if you want to link those buttons with single method so that is also possible and you can like easily categorize or easily identify like which button is clicked right so this way i demonstrated you how to call javascript functions uh, in lightning or a component thank you